So we have naturopathic medicine founded in Chicago. Well, not founded in Chicago, I guess. It's just that you were saying that he brought it to Chicago yes. in this particular year. He founded it or discovered it long before, sometime yes. before he got to Chicago. That's correct. If, if I'll interject, he his official date of founding was the 16th of November, 1905. And then the question is, where was he? took me a long time to figure out where he was. He was in Cedar, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Okay. So uh, it was there that he discovered the ligotype. And he was a faculty at the time of uh, uh, the American College of Chiropractic and Nature Care. And that was basically a college that was established by Dr. Sloan Langworthy, who the Langworthy family was a very, very important family in uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So uh, uh, it was Dr. Sloan Langworthy who uh, invited uh, Dr. Oakley Smith to come on board that college and, and be faculty. And it was Dr. Sloan Langworthy who was the principal publisher of the of uh, Dr. Oakley Smith's first book, Modernized Chiropractic. In fact, you'll see that three names, three authors of Modernized Chiropractic, which, by the way, is the first textbook of chiropractic. Really? So, published 1906, you'll see three names, Dr. Oakley Smith, you'll see Dr. Sloan Langworthy, and you'll see Dr. Minora Paxson. So, uh, so before there were any other textbooks of chiropractic, there was modernized chiropractic. Very interesting. So uh, another reason, and, and by the way, uh, there's really, it's been the chiropractic field that's in many ways have been great supporters of naturopathic medicine. You take a look at currently uh, uh, chiropractic historians, chiropractic historian group, uh, they meet, uh, a number of them are very, very interested in, uh, in naturopathic medicine. They have conferences all over the world. So uh, I, I think there are many friends out there <laughs> versus adversaries oh. who are interested. And I already mentioned Dr. Timothy Faulkner, who is a chiropractor, who came out with his book, Devoted to the early life of, of Dr. Oakley Smith, his early career. And so, uh, you know, I think there's there's plenty of, of friends in terms of uh, who are interested in in the real history and really what happened. Okay. Um, and Annette's book is the chiropractor's protege, correct? His book, yes. yes the chiropractor's um, protege is Dr. Timothy Faulkner's book. Okay, and that is demonstrated. I haven't gotten a chance to read that text, um, mm -hmm. but I am familiar with it. And I mm -hmm. believe we may have done some conferences here at the college maybe some mm -hmm. years ago showcasing him, of course, and uh, mm -hmm. the, the material from that book that did a lot of research from my understanding. And of course, I'll let you explain more of that than me yes. because I haven't read it. Uh, as far as, I guess, giving accolade to Dr. Oakley Smith in yes. some ways. It's a very, very positive uh, history from his point of view. Um, and uh, so he concentrated really on that period, I would say 1905 to um, 1908 in particular. So he was concerned in that because so much was happening in that time. So we can even back up a little bit from the time he graduated from the chiropractic school in Davenport, 1899, but up until 1908. In his mind, Dr. Faulkner felt that those are the key years that have to be examined and, and explored to understand what really happened, how it happened, where it happened. 